We're carrying on with the SQL and uh, I thought I'd put it into a bit of context of what we're going to be doing when we're back in class. So when we're in class we're going to be using Microsoft Access which is a database, a pretty standard one. Not very popular these days. Um, it's seen as being a bit of a toy database. It struggles to cope with uh, hundreds of thousands, millions of records and all databases really are about coping with millions of records. Uh, but it's quite decent for our purposes. Um, now, when we're back in Access, we won't be doing so much SQL in terms of we won't be typing in a lot of SQL. But everything we actually do is SQL based. And I thought I'd just demonstrate that. So I've got a table here. Um, it's a table of apps on the Google Play Store. And as you can see, there's 10,000 records in this table. So we, of course, want to query this. We'll do a simple select query. So I'm going to go into Query Design and Google Play Store. You would have done this in Year 11 anyway. And I'm going to pull out Category, oh, the app itself. I'll just uh, move that across to oh, one of the reasons I don't like access. is a bit of a fiddle. App Category Rating, that's three fields that I can have. And if I go Design View, I, oh no, I'm in design view, data sheet view. I can see I've got 10,000 records and I've got the app category and rating. And go back to design view, I can put a criteria on it. So I can say I want all of the um, apps that have got a rating greater than three. And that brings up only 8,996. Now, the reason I wanted to bring this up is, of course, what we're actually doing is a bit of SQL. We're doing a select app category rating from this table where the rating is greater than three. So very familiar stuff to us. Um, and when you're creating a query in Access, you're actually writing um, SQL. Now, one of the things is that some of these queries, um, if I go back into design view here, are much easier to do. So for instance, if we want to do an append, which is actually an insert, that's actually a bit of a pig to do in Access, not straightforward at all, uh, but very straightforward as you will have seen in the SQL. And uh, similarly, um, the update is not the easiest thing to set up in a query in Access, but is actually pretty straightforward in SQL. So moving on to the next job of work, uh, you're gonna do a bit of work in Khan Academy. So what you need to do is create an account, use your, well, use your, school account as per usual and sign in with Google and find the SQL bit, computer programming SQL, not hard. There's a video to watch, welcome to SQL. Shouldn't be any great surprises in there. Worth watching anyway though, because it does explain a few things. And then it's got a nice little creating a table, inserting data, which is a narrated, um, narrated, I'll hit play on this. Welcome to my database. Blah, blah, blah. If I scrub, a, scrub ahead a little bit to here, say, you can see it's actually, she's writing some SQL for us as she goes. And in this case, we're doing a create table query. And then we've got insert into that table some values. Pretty easy to understand, I think. Now, what your task for the day is going to be is to watch this, might as well. It's not long, three, three minutes, 42 seconds and then go into the challenge. And what I'm going to be slightly cunning about before I do anything is I'm just going to control C, go into the challenge, my book list database. Oops, I've accidentally done the answers. Ha, didn't see that, did you? Um, and what it's, it's giving you some hints and uh, you've got two steps to do. It says we need to create a table first. So if I just paste, well, I'm going to create a table. I don't need the insert, I can create table books etc now the this quantity is wrong it should be rating and stuff like that and it gets plenty of heatings we've got an integer column named rating don't seem to have i've got an integer column named integer that's named quantity easy to fix so that's the job for today is to complete the challenge both steps it's about if you pay attention it's probably about five minutes work may allow a little bit more 10 to 15 um, so it should be straightforward and I think we'll 
give you a really good grounding in the database stuff we need to know.